There we go. So how do you get the right height on a peck fly? Uh, I normally go by feel. It's one of those things you sort of know. You don't want to be up here and have it down here, even though I've seen people do that. But I try and have it like, it's almost as if you were doing a fly. If you're doing a fly on a flat bench, it generally there so if I was here you want to almost be the same type level as if you had dumbbells laying on a bench I'd probably go one lower but just for demonstration sake the same sort of thing chest up and squeeze I see a lot of people going too heavy and they sort of start doing that you want to keep your chest up what little chest I got left and squeeze it in. Because once you start doing anything where you're sinking your chest in and doing this, you're just using arms and shoulders, which a lot of people like to do to put the heavy weights on, but you want to try to keep it up and get a good squeeze at the end there. Well, why don't you try the handles above if it's, instead of going up? It just feels a bit too high now. Okay. I'm one of those people, I only mainly due to my injuries, a millimetre each way is like, eh, that hurts, that there doesn't. So Generally, if you weren't injured, this would be fine. But for me to be there, I feel like here would be the best spot. <laughs> and sometimes too, when I'm on these machines at the gym, sometimes I won't sit down, I'll put the seat right down and I'll just stand where I feel is the perfect spot. Only due to, like I said, Sometimes the seat setting, just cause I have little injuries, the, each hole could just be that little bit off. Yep. So sometimes I'll put the seat right down and then I'll just sort of squat like that and I'll find the place where is good for me. Rather than use a seat, I'll just find the spot that's comfortable for me to be in like that even with preacher curl sometimes the preacher curl bench with the seats I'll just put it all the way down and I'd rather stand than sit on a seat because I just find sometimes the seat being vertically ch challenged sometimes I just need to be on my own sort of angle but like I said it's always just keep it up don't people do it too like you see them a lot you know the chest presses Keep your chest up and press. Some people start going and it all becomes delt and shoulders and arms. They sink their chest. So you want to always keep your chest up whether you're pressing. Don't start doing that. Same as doing this. Don't, which I see so many people doing because they're going way too heavy and they start doing that and they pull their back off the bench. I guess they just want to keep it up. So we've got 20 kilos on there. Yep. Just for people that get this machine, would, how, how much heavier would you go? Or well, that's enough. Oh, in my younger days, I would have gone a lot heavier. But even just doing this show on you now, I'm getting a nice little pump and burn. So I'll probably go the same at that again. What's that on? Is that a what, 10 on each side? Is yeah. that a, probably one more 10. Because like I said, it's not a mass building. And like I said, you're just getting a nice stretch. The main thing is just getting a good stretch and good squeeze. So how would you incorporate that into your chest workout? Uh, generally this one I'd do like either middle or at the end. You know, to warm up with, I wouldn't really use it because you're stretching so far open. Yep. I'd rather do like a pressing type movement to get the blood in there. Yep. Rather than go your first exercise where you're, even though you're stretching, you don't want to overstretch. So generally, I have done it before where I might have done push-ups first or different variations of push-ups to get the blood there or cable crossovers to get the blood in there and then go to this one. It's like a fly movement. I'd always maybe do dumbbell presses flat or incline first and then do the fly movement around third. That way you just, you know, your joints and everything's warmed up properly rather than going, you know, if you're cold and you go straight to stretching out you can get little injuries a lot quicker. So, for flies? Yes. Cable, dumbbells, or machine? If my choice would be dumbbell and then this machine. Cables I don't mind, but 
I like dumbbells just because you can put them where you're comfortable. I like dumbbells too because at the end I like to give a little squeeze like that. Yep. Which you can similar do on this even though you can't really see it. But on here, even though my hands are like that, I'm squeezing, squeezing more with the palm at the very end. Like I said, I'm not really ripping here. Yep. So you're just using your hands like a hook and just really just using your chest to really squeeze it in. So dumbbells and this would be my first to go to. And then, like I said, cable crossover type things would be like at the end type finishing on. Cable crossovers. Mm -hmm. Do you do them anymore or? Yeah, yeah, I still do them towards the end, yeah. Just because, like I said, sometimes with the injuries, I can't press heavy anymore. So if I do some of them, just really focus on squeezing just to get the blood in there, so. Given the size and the cost of a cable crossover, yeah. What would you rather, a cable crossover or that machine? I'd rather this or a flat bench with dumbbells. Yeah, like a cable crossover or that and a lat pull down. Because you can do all your, um, there's a few ex exercises that you can do on the cable crossover that you can't do on that and a lat mm -hmm. pull down, but. Well, if you had, like I said, like similar, like I said, that's the older style machine over there. If you have that type, you got the bench attached to it, so you yep. can do your benches, and you got your crossovers for your cables, and you could use your dumbbells as well. So, you know, the cables are good and stuff, but to me, it's just like I don't know. I like things that feel like free weights more. Cables are good because you got the constant tension, but even this here, just in my hand, feels more like a dumbbell than what a cable does. But like I said, I like cable crossovers as well, and you can use them. Like I said you got a crossover machine, then like you said, you can do you can do presses with them if you want the cables. You can do, if you've got a cable machine, you've got your, all your bicep curl exercises, single arm, barbell, you got all your tricep exercises. So really, if you've got like a cable type machine, you can pretty much do anything on it. So. Whereas these are good, but you've, once you've done your rear delt and chest on this, pretty much all you can do on it. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, like I said, if you have a, this is a great machine to have, but if I had a choice too, like I've got the machine at home you gave me, which is similar to like the Smith that has yeah, the cables yeah, yeah, and that yeah, on. Yeah. So like I said, I can do free weights in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can put a bench in there, do the free weights. So I can take the bench out and do the cable movements. So you got the best of both worlds. Yeah, look, this is definitely a luxury. Yeah. Like for a personal trainer, it'd be great because you you know, you can put people mm -hmm. on there and the, the form's a lot easier to nail. But yeah, if, if, you, if, you, if you're a guy. If, if I was going for like a home setup, I wouldn't pick this, I'd go for a cable. Something with a cable crossover on it. Cause like I said, cause then you've got the cable crossovers you got your bench with your dumbbells where you can do your dumbbells, but then, like I said, once you've got the cable set up, then you've got all your yeah. tricep movements, you've got all your bicep movements, you can do whatever, you can put a belt on and do belt lunges on it, so. Yeah, yeah no, this, this would be like the next step up once you've yeah, yeah, yeah. had all the others. So. Yeah, if you've got a big shed, yeah. um, it doesn't take up much space, it is, it is, it's not cheap, but yeah. Now we've gone fancy and added more resistance with a band. Really trying to make me work hard. Ah. Which actually it does feel nice. It actually get a good squeeze. <laughs> well, it just changes the resistance profile mm -hmm. and adds a bit more tension. Well, actually, I like it because it actually feels a little bit more like that. You know, with the dumbbell, you've got to control it more going back. So yeah, you feel yeah, it more. Yeah which actually feels good because it's got the same, you know, some machines you can go easier and then get lighter. That with the band on, it feels like I got the same weight through the whole arc of the movement. There isn't any easy spot. Yeah. 